this is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 25, and it reads to the Holy Scriptures. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars upon the earth, the stress of nations with perplexity and the seas of various waters. And this is uh, 2nd Ezra, chapter 3, chapter 9, and verse 2nd Ezra, chapter 9, verse 3. It says, therefore, there shall be seen earthquakes and up worlds and the people of the world. Second Ezra 15 uh, verse, four, uh, verse 14 Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Second Ezra 15 verse 15 For that sworn and that discourse draw off nigh and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. Second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 16 and it reads for there shall be sedition among men, invading one another. They shall not regard their kings, nor their princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Uh, Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory and honor to, to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, or Kakadash. Shalom to the elders of Great Millstone, for preaching the word of truth and sincere. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered four corners of the globe, which are very truthful and sincerely as well, too. And I say Shalom to the Akim out there. And this is a uh, sit down lesson from uh, MiddleEastEye.net. And it reads Israeli settlers rampage against Palestinian villages, continues for a fifth straight day. An off duty soldier amongst those detained for joining the anti Palestinian attacks in occupied West Bank. <coughs> <coughs> uh, excuse me for that. And this was published by uh, MEE staff last updated three hours ago. Three hours and 21 minutes ago. Published date June 25th, 2023. At 13:38 BST time, it says Israeli settler gains on Sunday morning burned crops in the Palestinian town of Tulusia, north of Romalia. Only days after the village was subject to a rampage that left at least 30 houses and 70 vehicles on fire, more than 400 settlers stormed the village on Wednesday under the protection of the Israeli army killing one Palestinian, Omar Jabbar Abdul al Qutan 25. Israeli settlers attack Palestinian villages are increasingly a regular occurrence for West Bank residents. On Saturday, dozens of settlers sweep through the several West Bank villages attacking Palestinian homes and it seems to have been described as a organized Warping. Several dozen settlers rampaged through the village of Yim Sufa in the occupied West Bank, terrorizing Palestinian residents. Video footage of the attack have surfaced online showing woven gangs and settlers firing bullets towards the Palestinian houses. The latest attack marks the fifth consecutive day of vigilante attacks against Palestinian village in the West Bank. That's what you call seditions and uprisings. And that's what we see, especially with the Israel-Palestine situation. So we definitely see that heating up. Palestinians media outlet of February 48 says that at least 10 houses were destroyed in the Yom Sufa in several vehicles. The settlers carry out the attacks for the protection of the Israeli armies, according to the Palestinian TV journalist Mohammed Rab Rabhai. An off duty Israeli soldier was one of the four suspected detaining following the attack on Um Sufa. Following the latest attacks, the Israeli military chief Herza Havi, the head of the Israeli intelligence, Shane Bey. Ron Barr and Israeli Police Commissioner Karbi Shabbat Tayyip 
uh, issue a joint statement strongly condemning the recent strong unsettled attacks on Palestinians in the West Bank, branding them a nationalist terrorism in the full sense of the term. The Israeli military has admitted to having failed to stop other settlers right in recent years. Israeli settlers also attacked the electric grid, causing a blackout in several Palestinian villages, including Uman Shaba, Dur Shadan, Abjul, and Atura, spiraling violence. Separately on Saturday, a Palestinian teenager was left bleeding to death after being shot by an Israeli force at a uh, military checkpoint in Kordania, a village between Jerusalem and Romania. So yeah, a this Pal Israel Palestinian situation is definitely heating up. So with that, hopefully this uh, lesson is edifying of the reading of this news article from MiddleEastEye.net, published by M E E Salaki for that. Uh, published by M E E Staff. Published date June the twenty fifth, twenty twenty three, and last updated three hours and twenty one minutes ago. As it says again, Israeli settlers rampage against Palestinian villages, continuing for a fifth day. So with that, hopefully this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praise and some glory and honor too to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Makadash. Shalom to the elders for preaching His word truthfully and sincerely, and shalom to the Akia, scattered to the four corners of the world, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well too. And until next time, I will say shalom.